If I'm being completely honest, I have no idea where this is gonna go. Hey guys, it's Savannah, and thank you so much for watching this video. Why does that sound like an outro? It's been a while since I've done this. Hey guys, it's Savannah, and today we're gonna be talking about everyone's favorite thing, high school. All right, so I took a poll on Instagram, so this is kind of my new thing, like tell me figure out what videos I'm gonna do next is Instagram polls. And this one won, I think like 60 to 40 or 70 to 30. I don't know, it won though. We'll be talking about awkward moments from high school. And I have a lot, but so we're real all secret. I feel like this is one of those magic shows where it's like secrets are revealed and that thing. So first off, I'm not even gonna talk about my freshman year. I don't want to talk about my freshman year. That was like the worst phrase, phase in my life. Absolutely upset. I was homeschooled, so I went to like this weird homeschool school. It, it was a school for homeschoolers. So I don't even know why we called it homeschool because we had to go physically to the school. It's horrible. Like everyone hated me. I hated all of them. So not really any awkward stories there, just a lot of hatred and anger and lots of therapy. So moving on to sophomore year, I went to a real school. I went to a private school. I'm still in this private school and I don't really know how I'd feel about it because I had never been to a legit school before. Okay, so if you want to talk about awkward, <laughs> literally everyone before I came to the school somehow figured out that I was going to that school. I don't know how the word got around. I think it was one of the guys on the baseball team. But everyone figured out that I was coming to that school and they all the boys like messaged me on Instagram like literally it was the time when Instagram was like new and um, Everyone was using DMs like no one was doing phone numbers. It was all just straight-up DMs So I had all these guys in my DMs like oh my gosh like, I can't wait to show you around school like around our campus like oh my gosh Like are you gonna come watch me play baseball? <laughs> you gotta come like see me play football like I had like these guys telling me like oh my gosh like, I'm so excited for you to get here and I don't know why like I was so ugly like at that time in life like I was super pale like super pale like I'm pretty okay right now like tan wise back then I was white as a ghost I had jet black hair with purple tips and get this no one even knew my name like if they didn't follow me on Instagram they didn't know my name and they called me purple because I had purple hair and that's what I went by my first year of school it was just straight just hey purple and like in people's phones it was purple with like the purple heart emoji oh that's kind of awkward because we do already have a kid in our grade named barney but you get the point okay back to the story so everyone was like telling me like, oh my gosh i can't wait for you to get here i'm so excited blah 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 and i get there and they all go ghost i don't even know if this is like a pet peeve or talk to you online or like text you and then like you see them in real life and they're like scared to approach you like you like they're a complete stranger like we've been taught we've been texting for like months and weeks now like why are you acting like you don't know me now so of course I go to school the first day and everyone that I had been talking to on text or FaceTime or like whatever just acts like I'm non-existent and so that was super awkward because I felt really uncomfortable because I was new to the school all these people I thought were gonna be my friends didn't talk to me anymore and so, I don't know, like, those first few months were really rough because I thought I would be coming in, like, with lots of friends and lots of cute guys potentially talking to me, and then none of that happened. Don't understand why people do that. Girls and guys alike. Um, sophomore year was honestly, like, a really great year overall. It was not as stressful as I thought it would be, super easy. I didn't have any homework ever. Like, literally came home, took naps, every day after school. It was the best. There were there were like a few things though that kind of made it a little less than what it could have been. Like it could have been like really great but then these things happened so it got brought to like down here when it could have been like a right here. So <laughs> I came in as a sophomore so obviously I had to catch up on a lot of the required courses and classes and all that kind of thing. So I go talk to the lady who like does all the classwork and the admission type stuff. And so she's like, hey, you have to take some kind of physical education class. And I was like, absolutely not. Like, well, I've seen it. Everyone talks about how bad it is. Everyone hates gym class. Like that's just a known thing. I'm gonna be the kid who gets all the dodgeballs thrown at them. And I'm gonna be in the corner like this. And I'm gonna be crying. I don't, I don't wanna do that. I'm not about that life. Please don't put me in that class. And she's like, all right, well, there is um, like a weightlifting class. Would you want to be in that? And I look at myself and I'm like, sign me up. So I go to this weight class, right? Ladies, 
ladies. This is one of the best moves you can make. If it's a weightlifting class, you know it's going to be a lot to keep boys in there who are lifting and doing their thing and you can just sit there and look pretty, do some squats, you know what I'm saying? But also, if you mess up and like do something dumb like I did every day, then it looks really bad because like all the, all the boys that are watching notice. So don't mess up if you do this. So anyway, I decided to take on this gym thing. I got my schedule and then the night before, I like run in from school and I'm like, mom, I was like, I'm going to this weightlifting class. And she's like, oh my gosh, like that's so great. I was like, no, this is horrible. I was like, I don't know. I don't have any gym clothes. I don't go to the gym. I don't know what to wear. Like all I have are like cute girly clothes. Like I don't know, like, I don't know how to do this. Like we have got to go buy like athletic clothes because I don't have any athletic clothes up until this point. I didn't play sports really. Like I had, it had been like years since I had done cheerleading or basketball of any sort. So I like was in desperate need of some athletic clothes. She's like, oh my gosh, this is the worst thing. This is horrible. We'll go get you some stuff right now because she wants me to look good as well. So we go to the local, I think it was like TJ Maxx. We go to TJ Maxx and you know, they're not that expensive. So we just load up on all this stuff like that we do not need and so we just get like these really cute um like legging sets that go with like these cute shirts and we get like all these like jackets that are like thermal jackets i don't know why we would get those but we did like we literally like left that place with like just bags just going up our arms just full of clothes for this private school weightlifting class. I felt pretty prepared for it, right? I felt like really good about this. So we walk in <laughs> and <laughs> so I walk in the next day just ready and this is about how it went. One thousand two hundred seventy eight. One thousand two hundred seventy nine. overdressed like these girls were like in like little black Sophie shorts with like the shirt coming over so it looks like they're not wearing pants the guys were in like just these regular like t-shirts some were wearing I think like the muscle tank type stuff with just shorts literally like the most laid-back looking thing ever I mean they all look like they were like in college I literally look like an emo Barbie doll just showed up to like get her groove on like it was it was disgusting and I'm disgusted with myself that I like went that far to like prove a point to people. I don't know even know what I was trying to prove, but it was like the awkwardest, cringiest thing. Cause I just remember like everyone looking at me like, who? who, who is she? Like, who does she think she is? The worst feeling and it like to this day, I'll like be laying in bed at night and I'll like be like half asleep, right? And then I'll think about it and I'll just be like, ah! Moving on to junior year, so Junior year was a fun one. It was, that was a lie, it was my worst year yet. It was it was by far the worst year I've ever had at that school. Or any school, any school, that was just the worst year. We've all like had that moment. We've I think we've all had that moment where we like fall somewhere really abruptly, just in the hallway or whatever. Of course, mine was in the cafeteria. I think a lot of you can relate. I don't know what the deal is about falling in the cafeteria. There wasn't a banana peel. It wasn't slippery. It was totally normal. I had shoes on. It was like I was wearing like slippery socks. It was totally fine. And what do I do? <sighs> all over my face everywhere all over my white shirt because this is a private school you can only wear black shirts and white shirts like that only two kind of shirts you can wear and you know me i walked in the first day of school wearing a red shirt and got demerits for it so 
love it. It got all over. I think it was like pasta. It was something bad. It wasn't just like anything like, oh, well, it's fine because it's dusted off. No, it was like a sauce. Everyone saw it. Like, it was one of those loud ones too, which like, boom. Like, I'm just laying there on my back, completely like sprawled out. I'm in shock. This is what I looked like at the time. And I still think about that at night too sometimes. Like all these things you're hearing right now, I lay in bed at night and I think about and it takes that this is why I have insomnia. And I'm a firm believer that it is not high school until your best friend has dated your boyfriend. I am a firm believer in that. That happened to me twice junior year. I had my friend who took my now ex, uh, you know, from me. And it was it's just, it was just one of those things that you have to live through at high school. I feel like it happens to almost everybody. Yeah, that was also very awkward because like, I know me and her went shopping like literally two weeks before together. And then two weeks later, I figured out she was dating my, my ex. That all happened very fast. He like broke up with me and then two days later they were like together. So, yes. It was epic. Okay, so we are almost done, ladies and gentlemen. We are now on to senior year, which is what I am in right now. Holler, I'm leaving. I am so excited. I'm going to college. I am just ready to get out of this. So, um, first off, we had this presentation in math, and you're all thinking, ew, math. Yeah, I know. So, we had a math presentation, and I am like the least math person that I know. My dad is like a math genius. He is so smart. And I wish I could have those kind of genes, but I did not get those. I got my mom's and she is one of those like artsy people. She majored in theater. Like I got all of her genes. So I'm just naturally that. I math, science, uh-uh. It's, it's really, really low on that, on that end of the table. Of course, of course, my math teacher says, let's give the girl who knows it the least about math stuff the hardest math assignment to present on the class. Cause everyone got different things. Like this person would get like, how to add and subtract like exponents. This one would like get this per. I got like trig functions on the calculations of el angles of elevation and depression. Literally, I don't even know how I just said that. So she gives me that and like a few other people who also are really bad at math. And so we, our presentation literally a it looked like like a bomb like went off in all of our brains it was the worst presentation I, I couldn't even sit through like I thought I would have to get up and leave the room that's how bad it was like I was presenting and I thought I would have to leave the teacher literally like had to stop the presentation and she had to come like get the tablet I was like writing on for me and like do it because that's how bad it was I didn't know the material no one knew the material she had to teach it for us I'm pretty sure we got like a D um, I had a slideshow too and people were looking at the slideshow like it was a brick wall like there was I had so much information on there I was trying my hardest and you could tell it like I was like really really trying to like teach these kids like what to do and they were just looking at it like what is that just a beaver what do you make what are these shapes you're lost I have lost so much sleep over that presentation like it was so bad and of course everyone else did amazing like every other person got like an A they got candy they did like a one like oh my gosh you guys are like math leads and like here comes us oh my gosh i have never been so excited for like a presentation to be over in my life because like normally i'm really good at presenting i'm good at speaking in front of people obviously Woo, awkward. oh shoot all these cringy stories i'm so sorry if any of these stories made you cringe i cringe myself so now like you can lay awake at night like oh my gosh that story savannah but thank you guys so much for watching i really do appreciate it and if you like this video make sure to subscribe and like and comment and all those super fun things um i really hope you come back next week and i'm going to playlist tomorrow so make sure to come see me there i'll leave the tickle links below make sure to come it's gonna be so much fun um, I hope to see you there. Come to my meetup. I don't even know what meetup group I'm in, but whatever I'm in, come to that one and we can take cute pictures and things like that. But anyways, love you guys so much and I hope you all end the school year well and love you and see you next week. Bye!